Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mail Call. Larry's Fountain Pens, and I'm Larry, your host for today. And before I get into my mail call, pin carry comes first. So this is pins I'm carrying for this week. First of all, the first pin is Leonardo Momentum Hawaii Blue. Superb fountain pen. Really a great fountain pen. I am just overwhelmed on this pen, not only by the way it looks, by its performance as well. A very nice, what I think, affordable, great writing experience anyone will have with this fountain pen. The nib, magnifique. I love it. Wet, smooth, it does everything it needs to do, and then some. That's number one. Number two, I just got in just the other day. Well, it's not in my pocket, so where is it? Ah! Oh, right here. That's another reason why I love clips on my pens. I just got this pen in, and I've been wanting it for some years. The Pilot Custom 74 with a 14K medium gold nib. Beautiful blue pen. I'll be redoing a review on this soon. Great fountain pen. Pilot just puts out some magnificent pens. Now, let's get into my pen carrying. I'm carrying as well some more pens. And this pen sleeve I have the voila diplomat arrow with a beautiful fine steel nib smooth wet great fountain pen you know you are holding a fountain pen it's not overly heavy feels great in the hands. I've used it for long writing sessions. It's just a great fountain pen. Affordable? Yes. So, if you're thinking about the Diplomat Arrow, you're not going to go wrong, in my opinion. I'm very picky on my fountain pens. But I also have to do reviews, so sometimes i got to step out of the box and buy pens, and I'm glad I did. On my previous video, I have the Aero uh, Diplomat uh, Blue that has a 14K medium nib. That's my range of nibs, medium, but I do like fine nibs if they're smooth and red. And the uh, Italian pens, let me tell you, and German pens, and a lot of the Pilot pens, I get into real quick. Great fountain pen, German made pen, great value, just another pen that I would highly recommend. And that's not going to break the bank. Next pen is my lovable Dynamite Visconti Homo Sapien Lava Pen with a 23K Palladium Dream Touch nib. Great fountain pen. Love the piston filler. Love the feel, the look. It writes like a dream. Dream touch nib. It's everything I want a pen to be. Visconti. This pen, it's in the higher bracket, but well worth the money. You can't go wrong. Great pen. The only thing I didn't get out of it which other people claim they did, is you can feel the lava or the heat or something within the pen material. I feel nothing. And that's okay. I still love the pen. That didn't take away anything from this pen because we're talking about what's under the hood, the nib. The nib is to die for. It's gone to rocks. So, after... 
experience what I did with the first one. Then the brother was born. Voila. The Visconti Homo sapien magna, magma. Beautiful fountain pen. I love that red trim with the black. It just goes perfect with this pen, don't you think? They did a great job on this pen with the, the nib, kind of a dark blackish color. Dream Touch nib, Palladium 23K, beautiful, outstanding pen. Last but not least, one of my favorite all times, the Jin Hao 159, a great pen. Heavy lacquered pen, metal pen, but not overweight in my opinion. And I put in it an Anderson Fine Nib. Anderson Fine Nib, Joe Woe number six nib, nice, smooth, wet nib, just like I like my nibs. So, two, three, four, five. Those are my six pins that I'm carrying with me. But I still have two more pins that I don't have with me right now because they're in the room by my computer. I have two of the Pilot Preras. If you keep up with my videos, I've, I've done show those pins, reviewed those pins, and I, God, I've been using them now for what? the past three weeks I love them great pens uh, pocket pens love the nibs I love the way they feel the, the way they write wet nibs just some great fountain pens and affordable so that's my pen carry and I would have had them in here, but they're by the computer, and that's what I keep by the computer. So, there you have it. My pen carry for today. So, that's going to take care of this one. And next coming up is mail call. So, you want to stay ready for that. Hey, this is part two of mail call. I just did my pen carry. Now... I'm going to show you what I received in the mail. And these are some pens that I have been wanting for some time. There's one particular pen I've been wanting for many years now. And I've done it. So let's open them up and let's see what's in these boxes because, well, I just can't wait. Okay, let's get these things undone very carefully. Here we go. Well, today is Saturday. What, the 18th? Isn't that right, Mr. Nelson? I believe so. And it's fiction to come a pour down. And I am ready for it to stop raining all right here, we, were, we were under a tornado watch this morning that's right we were you're exactly right and we have to get the gate fixed because the whole gate has fallen over so had a fence guy come out yesterday that's going to be replacing the whole gate isn't that fun right, here we go uh, that's pretty paper. And in this pretty paper is a pretty box. So, make sure nothing is. That is kind of nice. My favorite color, blue. Can you beat that? Huh. So let's see what's in there. What do y'all think's in here? Yes, it's a pen, but what pen? That's the whole secret. A special pen. Ha! Huh. With more wrapping. Yes, very nice and secure. Now, 
Let me get this off. Because I'll use this same one when I send away that giveaway on the pink sleeve. Let me look first. Oh my. Okay. It is. It's the one. It's the. Oh. Here it is, folks. Omas. Yeah. I got it. Omas, baby. Right here. I don't know about anybody else, but, you know, I love Omos fountain pens. I have one, the 360, and I have got to use some of the Omos pens on people that are in the Fort Worth Pen Club. And I love them. They're great fountain pens. Too bad they're no longer in business. But, uh... Hmm. I wonder if that's glued or what? Okay, here we go. What do you think? Well, it seems to be glued and come off like that. You would think it would shoot out, right? But not this one. And here we go. Huh, that's interesting. Another box. Yes, another box. And almost again. Nice box. Very pronounced Omos. Since 1925? Yep. Kind of like sparkles, doesn't it? See that? The glitter kind of in the box. Can you see that? Yep. Kind of cool. Cardboard, strong, firm. Now, let's see what's in this box. As everything falls out. All right, I still haven't seen it yet. Are we ready? Ready! Here we go. Almost. You got the paperwork on it. And more paperwork. I do like this. It's really nice, the feel of this kind of paper. What kind of paper do you think that is? You worked in the printing department before. Uh, well, it's kind of a parchment. A see-through parchment. Interesting. And here is the beloved Omos that sits in a sleeve it comes with. Cool? Yes. And it sits in this bed that has a nice made out level, almost like a grave type. Sit in there, a shallow, what would you call it, a pit, a shallow... Depression. Depression that this sleeve with the pen fits in securely. And before I take it out, I'll set it aside and we'll open it up. And you get more literature on Omos. So what I'm going to do, I will put this all in here. It's in Italian. And Italiano. Okay, so we'll put that in there. And I'll set the box back in there. And does this come up or anything? I don't think so. On the back of... This is the front. But what's cool, you can turn this upside down. And you'll have a double pin case right there. Isn't that cool? That's neat. Yep. Because later, I'll have a another coming secret. So, let's put this aside. Now... Here we go. Out of the pen sleeve comes the Omos. Look at this beautiful fountain pen. Look at that. Gorgeous. That is nothing but a beautiful Omos. I believe, I don't have it in front of me. My Lord? And my Lord. My Lord, I think yeah. is what we call yeah. it. And I will be giving a few review later. Yes, it's a gold nib. This one is a fine. And this is old new stock. Never been used. Old new stock. And I'll give you the history and tell you a little bit about this pen. 
when I do a review on it. So let's put this back to sleep. But I am excited. I finally got me the real deal. Almost, baby. Almost rocks. Yep. I've been wanting one God knows for some time. Have I not, Mr. Announcer? Oh, yes. That's all I've talked about. Almost, almost, almost. So, almost, almost is home. Now, let's go to another box. Last but not least. Fooled you, nothing in that one. Ah! Here it is, right here. Okay, that's the real one. Now, let's see what's in this little booger box. Interesting. So... Very carefully. other side is going to open up as well. Kind of flipped over the way it's looking over here. I'll give it this. It is packed nice and secure. We can open it now. Yeah, I think there's some leeway there. Well, I better do with that. There we go. All right. And I have been wanting one of these for a while. never seen a box like this. I'll show you in a minute. Don't go away, folks. It has a sponge on it. Feel that? Huh. Right there. Look at that. Interesting. I've never seen that. Make sure that pin is secure. And here it is. Does that give it away? Very nice and secure. They did a good job on this one. All right. Here we go. And this is the pilot. Comes in the middle, I mean in the plastic case. Look at this pin. Take it off the pin bed. You got your the paperwork in here tells you about the pen warranty comes with that cartridge put this back in and then we'll open this one out okay here it is beautiful fountain look at this fountain gorgeous now let me just tell you a little bit about the pen, not in full detail, just tell you a little bit about it. This one is the Pilot Namiki Custom 743 Large, number 15 size nib, medium nib, 14K, black Beautiful resin with the gold trim. And it is made in Japan. Just beautiful. Custom 743. 
pilot. Beautiful. Let's look at that nib. Let's get a close-up of that nib. Beautiful nib. Look at that. And it does have pilot. 14K. 58515 medium. Beautiful nib. All right. And this is a converter. And it did have ink in it at one time to test it to make sure that it was in working condition. Beautiful fountain pen for sure. Can't wait, <clears throat> excuse me, to get into this one as well. I'll put it back in there. Keep it safe. So, my folks, that's going to do it on today's Larry's uh pin mail so I will be getting these pins inked up soon and uh, I also have another pin to review the sailor I think I've already showed this one but I just want to do a reminder on that one as well and that beautiful gorgeous fountain pen that one has a 14k Gold nib. It's a Pro Gear. Beautiful fountain pen. And I really am a fan of Pro Gear. Really. So, folks, hey, thanks for taking the time for <laughs> joining me on what I do and what we all love and what we all get into. We all are pen geeks. We love fountain pens. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you. Don't forget, if you haven't been a subscriber to my channel, subscribe, baby. Do it, do it. Peace, love, and don't text and drive. I'll check you guys out later. Bye. Do it, do it, do it.